hello friends welcome back again to my youtube channel today in this video we will solve this very interesting and difficult algebraic problem and the problem here is x square plus y square that is equal to 7 and x cube plus y cube that is equal to 10 then we'll have to find the value of x plus y where they have mentioned that x y are real number so friends for solution of this problem first of all we will let this as equation 1 this is as equation 1 and this one as equation 2 Two. now if you look at equation 1 it is in the form of a square plus b square means it is a square plus b square means x is a and y is b so the formula of it is a plus b whole square minus 2ab so therefore in place of x square plus y square we can write it as x plus y whole square minus 2xy now in the second equation if you look at it is a cube plus b cube so we can write it as a plus b whole cube minus 3 times a times b in the bracket a plus b so here we have formula in terms of a plus b the formula of x cube plus y cube will be in place of a we will write x x plus y whole cube minus 3xy times x plus y so friend hope till here everything is clear now friend one thing to understand here if you look at we have two commands here x plus y x plus y is both the equation and x y so from here we can take x plus y as a common so we let we let x plus y that is equal to m so this equation we'll write it here the equation first we'll write here the equation one is in place of x square plus y square we'll write x plus y whole square minus 2xy that is equal to 7 that is equal to 7 so we'll write 7 in place of x plus y we'll write m so it is m square minus 2xy that is equal to 7 now from here we'll calculate the value of xy for that we'll take 2xy in the right hand side and we'll take 7 in the left hand side so we can write it as m is square here minus 7 that is equal to minus 2xy in the right hand side it will be 2xy now we'll divide by 2 both sides so we'll get m is square minus 7 divided by 2 that will be xy so let it as equation 3 so here we have calculated x times y value now in the next step also we'll take out the value of xy from this equation so the equation we can write it here equation 2 we can write a cube plus b cube type formula will write it as x plus y whole cube minus 3 times xy under bracket x plus y that is given is 10 so 10 here now in place of x plus y we'll write m so here we'll write m cube minus 3xy times m that is equal to 10 so from here again we'll take out the value of xy so we'll take this in the right hand side and we'll take 10 in left hand side so it will be m cube minus 10 that is equal to 3xy times m so now in the both side we'll divide by 3m so that we can calculate xy so it is m cube minus 10 we'll divide it by 3m that is equal to xy let us take this as equation 4 so friends we have two values of xy from equation 1 and equation 2 we have two values now we'll equate this xy in the next page we'll write it down so friend here we have copied down the value of xy values of xy now we'll equate this xy value from equation 3 and equation 4 and that will be now from equation 3 we'll write m square minus 7 that is divided by 2 is equal to from equation 4 it is m cube minus 10 divided by 3m now for further solution we'll cross multiply it now m square and 3m that will be 3m cube minus 3m and 7 21m that is equal to 2 and m cube 2m cube minus 2 10 20 now we'll take all the values in the left hand side so it will be 3m cube minus here 2m cube 2m cube this value will be negative so it is 2m cube minus 21m and this minus 20 in the left hand side will be plus 20 so plus 20 that will be 0 now we'll simplify it it is 3m cube minus 2m cube is m cube minus 
21 m plus 20 that is equal to 0 so friends now we will calculate the value of m for that we will factorize these terms there are many ways to factorize now we will split this 21 so we can write it as m plus 20 look at here we will write it as minus m and minus 20 m so we can write m cube minus m minus 20 m plus 20 is equal to 0 now from here these two terms we can take m common so we will take m common the remaining is m square minus 1 now from these two terms we will take minus 20 common and the remaining is m minus 1 that is equal to 0 now it is in the form of a square minus b square. so we will write m times m plus 1 times m minus 1 and here minus 20 in the bracket m minus 1 that is equal to 0 now from here we will take m minus 1 common so we will take m minus 1 common and in other bracket it is m times m times m plus 1 m times m plus 1 and from here negative 20 negative 20 that is equal to 0 so we will write m minus 1 in another bracket it is here we will multiply it it is m square plus m minus 20 that is equal to 0 now here this term we will factorize again now we will write m as plus here 5 and 4 times 20 so we will write plus 5 m and negative 4 m m square here and negative 20 now from these two terms we can take m common m common the remaining is m plus 5 and from here minus 4 common and m plus 5 so they will factor m plus 5 and m minus 4 so we'll write it as our this factor m minus 1 and next m plus 5 m plus 5 times m minus 4 m minus 4 that is equal to 0 now here the multiplication of three values is zero so we can write at the m minus one is equal to zero and here the m plus five is equal to zero minus four that is equal to zero now from here we can calculate the value of m that is m is equal to here one and here the value of m is negative five and here the value of m will be four so friend we have let m in the beginning as x plus y so here we have let x plus y as m so in place of m we let x plus y that is equal to 1 and here x plus y that is equal to negative 5 and here the x plus y value is 4 so here three values of x plus y plus 1 minus 5 and 4 and one thing in the question they have also mentioned that the value of x and y should be a real number now from this solution so friends for calculating the real value of x and y we have equation 3 that is x square plus y square that is equal to 7 we will put this value in equation and we will calculate the value of x and y so now in the next page we will copy it down so friend here is the equation 3 that is x square plus y square is 7 and we have now calculated the value of x plus y that is equal to 1 now here we will use the substitution method for calculate the value of x so from here we can calculate y is equal to 1 minus x and we have x square plus y square is equal to 7 so we let x square plus y square is equal to 7 so in place of y we let 1 minus x so our equation will be x square plus 1 minus x whole square equal to 7 so it is x square plus a minus b whole square means 1 minus 2x plus x square is equal to 7 now we'll simplify it it is x square and x square 2x square and minus 2x and here 1 and this will be negative 7 so negative 6 is equal to 0 now from here we can take 2 common and this will be x square minus x minus that is equal to 0 now from here we'll calculate the value of d if the discriminant value will be in positive then we'll get x and y as real number so here we'll calculate the discriminant value only and the formula of discriminant is d is equal to b square minus 4 ac so b square here is negative 1 negative 1 square minus 4 
a is 1 and c is negative 3 negative 3 and it will be 1 square is 1 and here minus minus plus 4 3 is 12 and that is 12 and 1 13 and that is greater than 0 so the value of x will be a real number from here so we have x plus y is the solution of this expression now we'll calculate the value of x plus y likewise from this expression so here the value of y will be negative 5 and negative x we can take negative 1 common it is x plus 5 and now we'll use the equation 3 here it is x square plus y square that is equal to 7 x square as it is in place of y square plus in place of y square we'll write negative 1 x plus 5 and it is square that is equal to 7 that is equal to 7 now it is x square and here plus so here negative square is positive and x plus 5 square will be x square plus 5 to the 10 10 x plus 25 that is equal to 7 now we'll simplify it it is 2x square so 2x square plus 10 and here 25 minus 7 is plus 18 that is equal to 0 now we can take 2 common again that is x square plus here 5x it is x 5x plus 9 that is equal to 0 0 divided by 2 will be 0 now for calculating the real value of x we will calculate discriminant so d will be b square means 5 square 5 square minus 4 ac 4 times a is 1 and c is 9 so it is 25 i square is 25 minus 9 3 is 36 so here negative value is bigger so it is negative 11 and it is less than 0 so we can say that from here the value of x will be not real so we cannot take this expression x plus y value is negative 5 we cannot take this expression now we'll check the last expression it is x plus y is 4 and now we'll write y is equal to 4 minus x now we'll put the value of y in the expression 3 equation 3 that is x square plus y square that is equal to 7 now here x square as it is x square as it is plus in place of y we'll write 4 minus x so 4 minus x whole square that is equal to 7 x square as it is plus here a minus b whole square so it is 16 minus 4 to the 8x plus x square is 7 now here x square and x square 2x square 2x square negative 8x and here plus 16 and this will be negative 7 so 16 minus 7 is plus 9 that is equal to 0 so from here again we will calculate the value of d for calculating the real value of x so here d value will be b square means minus 8x square minus 4 times a means 2 and c means 9 so 8 square is a negative negative positive and 8 square is 64 4 to the 8 8 and 9 72 and here negative value is bigger so it is negative 8 and which is less than 0 so here again the discriminant value is a negative so it is less than 0 so the value of x will not be real so the value of x plus y that is equal to 4 we cannot take so only one solution from here is x plus y that is equal to 1